lovies welcome back to my channel and today i'll be showing you how to achieve this look using brazil wool i'm so in love with this hairstyle because using wool is such a very easy things i love to do and yet wool is so light guys if you ever use the wool hopefully you know the testimony if you're my old subscriber thank you so much for coming back but if you are new to this family you're welcome before you leave kindly hit the subscribe button below turn on notification bell and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your loved ones so first i make sure i part my hair i use all sun gel but you can use any kind of gel that works for you in markets nowadays have a lot of gel just pick one that works for you so after i finish make the section i make sure i divided the section into three then i start braid the middle section goes back of my thumb finger while the same thumb finger and index finger help me to pick another section either from right or left then i keep braiding that's how i braid and i make sure i create the base for the whole head so that later when i just start to i will start braid direct and once you are creating the base or you're making this kind of cornrows don't make too tight because later the method i'll be showing you is crochet method so once you tie too much it will be a little bit hard to crochet the hair in between or under your sections because you tie too much so make sure when you are braiding just make a little loose so it will be easy for brazilian wool later to pass in between when it comes to section you may decide either you want to work with small section or bigger section it's not necessarily to work with big section just like me just work with small section depending on how long you want to keep this hairstyle. So every time when I part the section, I make sure I apply gel to get clean and neat section. In case you don't know how gel works, gel can help you to get clean and neat sections. So after you finish part at the first time, if you have gel, you can apply some and then repart the section again, which will get clean because you'll hold all the hair together, even the small hair. And for those who are asking, how can I part back section? Here I have two mirrors. One is front, one is back. So these two mirrors help me to see well like the size of the section and all other stuffs so the easiest way is at least to make sure you have two mirror or just have one mirror which can help you to see all angles of your head here i almost done with create the base or make the sections this is the last one And to prepare these sections, it took me around one hour. Yeah, I can say here I spend the most time more than braiding because you just want to get clean and neat. But once it comes to braid, it's so easy and very fast. So guys, this is how the sections looks like. So as I said, I'll use Brazil wool. I used to pack to braid my entire head and each section, I use 15 strand. You may use less or more depending on how big you want your bubble to be. So I divided this 15 strand into two just to make it easy to crochet in the sections. So I make sure I roll to make it easy for my crochet needle to hold them and pull them through after i pull to other side i make sure the hair they are even then i pull the remaining strand you may either decide to pull from other direction or just pull from the same direction wherever i just pull from 
different direction because I was a little worried that if I pull the same direction, I will confuse or I'll pull this wool together. So that's why I pull in different direction. So after this, I make sure I pull them together. Everything is clean. I make sure I tuck my hair in. Then you may use any strand. Just use one piece, wrap, no specific amount, like how many times you should wrap. You may either decide to wrap five, seven times. Just wrap till you feel like you hold your hair well. Then secure only one time. So after this, I just pull this strand out. The first bubble, I make sure I make small bubble because I make sure I tie my hair in because once you tie to bubble the first time you'll find out after some time your natural hair is out but once you make small bubble you tie your hair in even if the bubble you pull the bubble you'll find your natural hair is well secured so after the second bubble i make sure the measure i use is my index finger don't put too big bubble over your index finger size because when you are pulling the bubble the bubble will not be bigger if you put too big and if you put too small also once you pull out the bubble will not come out well so once you are making bubble make sure maximum size you are using is your index finger size you may use a little smaller so after you get used or after you braid um, several sections you'll find out you don't need to measure because actually it's so easy to guess the measure from one bubble to another after you get used so every time after i finish make bubble i make sure i pull just to make the bubble bigger or fluffy and after I finish, make the whole section, I just redo it again to pull them just to make sure the bubble, they are bigger enough, just like this way.
if you're asking like which strand or the strand i'm using to make the bubble they are the same size don't worry all the strand they are the same size and once i make the bubble i make till the strand is over then i pick another strand and i keep make bubbles but if you want you may decide to make at least one strand longer or just make all strand just the same size is also okay and here i'm done with braiding so i'll go ahead and trim off the ends and make sure all the section they are the same size and guys this is the final result for today's video hopefully you enjoy watching this video and you get something if yes honey subscribe give this video big thumbs up and don't forget to share with your loved one you wish they know how to do this hairstyle and you may decide to do it a little accessories if you want and yo this is how the hair it looks like so light i love you guys bye bye